Alright, well, good morning, everybody. We're on day number three, episode three of WMAT Shed Tours. <clears throat> we're in uh, another spot here, some random spot we picked, but we're gonna walk that way and uh, see what we can find in here. Hopefully, there's some brownies in here this time. I'm still trying to break the ice with the brown. Still haven't found one yet. Just been finding a lot of half browns, so we're gonna yeah we're gonna walk on this way. I'm with uh, Marcus and Kyle again, so so yeah we're gonna hit this stuff right here, this plat area right here, then drop off into that canyon right there. Then hopefully there's some browns laying on that side part. But yeah, if anything, I'll uh, Kyle will be recording and I'll be recording. So if anything, we'll let you know what we pick up and <clears throat> yeah let's get it i'm feeling pretty pretty sore from yesterday I got my butt kicked yesterday it's three long nature walks so alrighty guys i'll see you guys later Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, my boy, Connor. Brown, man. Yeah, nice one, Pick that baby up. Oh, I'm gonna just for a bit. Hey, hell yeah. I think it's a dash year's horn. Yeah. <laughs> dash year's horn. Again, half brown. Well, better than nothing. I skunked out yesterday with elk sheds. Finally. <sighs> Heck yeah. Coming in from in there. Kyle, checking in on you. But uh, first set of the day for me, count me in, ladies and gentlemen, I'm on the board, the weird looking raghorn, <laughs> floater G1, dropper, oh. still has color on the backside, weird looking one. <laughs> it's a weird looking rag bag on the board. Guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, it's just almost the same, huh? Yeah. This one's the left side, too. Sisters. Man. Working this um, thick oak patch, side healing in. Kind of a little discouraged because I haven't picked up anything yet, but first brown of day number three for me is sitting right there. Count me in on the browns today. Yeah, y'all. Maybe nobody hasn't walked in here, but brownie on the groundy. First brown of day three at a uh, mean the crew. 
Yeah, yeah. Nothing giant, but I'll take that because it's brown. Busted. Busted. Back three are busted. Only two points hanging on. A little bit of blood. Throw it on the packing. Keep moving forward. Probably grid this out because it's really thick in here and can't really see far. But literally was right there when I seen it laying right here. A brown. Let's go. I would have literally have walked past that because there's one and boy oh boy does he blend in. There's the other. Yeah baby. Count me in on the browns today. Side by side set. Straight six. Yeah baby. Heck yeah. Well, here's one left side. Pretty nice bull. Nice looking shed. Has a stubby royal right there. See that? Pretty dense antler. There's some ants getting a little dished out. Looks like he's been sitting here for a while. But uh, it's crazy because this side, you can barely even see it. Look. Watch this. How the heck did you get under there? <laughs> but here's his right side. Nice royal too. Kind of long main beam. See that? Nice brown tucked up in here in this oaks. Oaks and a looks like pinyon trees mix. Mixed with cedars too. But uh seen a lot of tracks on the top and just decided to bomb down away from the tracks and sure enough I'm, I'm finding the browns but I got three browns for today now with this nice looking set I think this is my this is gonna be my one two I don't know I don't care I just <laughs> just another nice looking bull awesome see keep working up this ridge and maybe his buddies sheds are laying up here throw it on the XL once again XL coming in clutch let's keep going well, everybody we just made it back to the road this sounds like Kayo got a set, brown set at the bottom, and uh, Marcus never found nothing. No, I still got that small half brown that I found. But uh, we just, we just, yeah, we just got back on the road and we're gonna go back to the ride. It's just down the road right here, so we're gonna wait for Kayo and we're gonna hit a different spot up higher behind me right here. So <clears throat> hopefully, we can pick up some more. See you guys later. Okay, do the intro. Marker. So, spot number two. I'm gonna <laughs> walk up in here. Looks like that one right here too. But yeah, spot number two. These guys need to find a brown. I'm the only one. Especially me. I haven't found a brown yet, so hopefully this place will be my icebreaker. IB shit. So. Yeah, let's we can go give it hell and hopefully come out heavy. So fingers crossed. See you guys in a little bit. Man, so sad to find them like this. 
hate to find them like this when it, especially when it's a really nice shed look at that so freaking dang old oh my god it would have been a nice shed to find but it's just too dang old look at that it's Shed right there. Wait till shed. <clears throat> Buried in the in the needles. That's what it is. What it is. Oh. Nice little coos buck. Three point. That's some mass to him. Cool. Look at that base. Well, Kyle came back, had a bit of lunch, snacks, so we're going to head east and we're going to try another spot, just random spots we're picking because opening day there was a lot of people everywhere and even yesterday there was too, I don't know about today, it seems like there's died down because usually we'll hear people yelling away or catching them on the radio and stuff but yeah I think it kind of died down now hmm, I don't know though oh man so let's keep at it though that's all we can do we're on our third and final walk we're gonna cut it short today because we have a we have a a bit of a situation here uh, one of our radiator hoses kind of leaking just a little bit but it's not much but uh, we're gonna do this last walk right here we're just gonna bomb down into this canyon right here behind me or beside me and uh hopefully pick up some horns been saying that for a long time and yet we haven't even picked up freaking brownies and stuff but yeah we're gonna check it out over here hopefully there's some antlers in here so yeah, I'll see you guys later when we find something or when one of these guys find something. Oh, crap. Well everybody, we just got back out of that hell hole. It was a long walk, but we didn't even freaking find anything. All of us skunked out on this walk. But that place was freaking brushy, as you've seen in the video. We got our arms freaking scratched up. It's crazy. All the things that we do for sheds. <laughs> the places we walked. But uh, we found five today. It's a slow day. And yeah, we walked in places where... People already walk. We every place we tried, there was boot tracks everywhere, and this is what they all missed right here. But this is from not here though. It's from the, the previous areas. There's the uh, mine that I started off with, then Kyle's, Kyle's, and this set right here. The one he found right here. You didn't say there was boot tracks right here. By it too. On the top of it. Yeah. On the top. Somebody walked past the side by side brown set at the top. Or right above this, there was boot tracks where he found it, he said. So yeah, this uh, concludes episode 3 of WMAT Shed Tours. We'll be back at it tomorrow again. We gotta head back right now because uh, that, radiator, uh, that radiator hose is leaking a bit. Um, I gotta fix that, so. Alrighty guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.